Paul Marshall, formerly known as Valenza Pauline Burke, was born in Brooklyn, New York. She was raised by her mother, Adriana Viola Clement Burke. Adriana and her friends were Paul's influence to become a writer. Paul found her passion through listening to them talk while in the kitchen. Around the age of 12 or 13, Paul changed her name from Pauline to Paul. This was influenced by her infatuation with Paul Lawrence Dunbar, a poet from the late 19th century that by the age of 16 had published multiple poems. Specifically, she found the line, Little brown baby with sparkling eyes, come to your pappy and sat on his knee. From his poem, Little brown baby, moving because her father had already left. After graduating from Hunter College with her Bachelor's of Arts and Brooklyn College with her Master's against her mother's desires for her to work for the telephone company, Paul wrote for Our World. Marshall often described herself as a tripartite person, meaning that she was equally connected to Brooklyn, the Barbados, and Africa. Paul took what she learned while working with Our World and wrote her first novel, Brown Girl Brownstones. The main character, Selena, is of Bajan descent like Paul Marshall herself. Selena must grow up with the mother who is saving to buy the brownstone that they are living in. Her mother is trying to acclimate the family to their environment. Alternatively, Selena's father longs to go back to the Barbados. This is where Paul's father is also from. However, Paul's father abandoned her family to join a cult when Paul was young. Paul married Kenneth Marshall, a psychologist, in 1950, and they divorced in 1963. She later married a Haitian businessman named Nori Menard. In 1961, Paul published Soul Clap, Hands, and Sing, and in the same year received the Guggenheim Fellowship. This collection of four novellas won Paul the National Institute of Art Awards. Langston Hughes was so impressed with Paul's work thus far that he chose Paul to accompany him on a State Department funded tour. In 1969, Paul released The Chosen Place, The Timeless People. In 1983, Paul released Praise Song for the Widow. She ended up winning the Before Columbus Foundation American Book Award in 1984. She also published Rena and Other Stories in 1983. In 1985, Merle and Other Stories was published. Paul's jobs consisted of teaching at Virginia Common University, the University of California, Berkeley, the Iowa Writers Workshop, Yale University, and holding the Helen Good Shepherd Chair of Literature and Culture at New York University. She later received an honorary degree from Bates College. In 1991, Paul published Daughters and the Fisher King in 2000. In the same year that she retired from teaching, Paul released her final work, Triangular Road, a memoir. In 2009, Paul was a MacArthur Fellow, won the Dos Passos Prize for Literature, and was designated as the Literature Lion by the New York Library in 1994. In 2010, Paul won the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Honest Phil Wolf Book Awards. At the age of 90 years old, Paul Marshall passed from dementia in Richmond, Virginia. This occurred in 2019. is perhaps the emotional content. But I am a storyteller. I make up stuff. It's imagination, it's invention. As Zora Neale Hurston said, I'm a teller of tall lies. <laughs> you know? But they're lies that happen to speak to the truth of the human condition. And that's where the storyteller is.